Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to talk about how we're going to calibrate our wedge distances and we can dial them in so we can get better distance control when we play golf. Stay tuned. So if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Uh, this channel is all about helping you play better golf. Now, I've been a golf pro now for 32 years, so along the way I've uh, noticed a lot of changes to equipment and uh, in particular to wedges. Now when I first became a golf pro, specialty wedges were not existent. Back in 1982, you were lumbered with the wedge you got with a set of golf clubs. Now we have all sorts of lofts and lies and bounces, so we're, we're much better placed. So. There's two ways you can go with wedges. You can have what I call a three wedge system and you can have what I call a four wedge system. So a three wedge system includes a pitching wedge, which is 46 degrees. You would then have a, a sand wedge at 52 degrees and a lob wedge at 58 degrees. So that gives us six degree increments. Six degree increments equates to about 15 meters of difference in distance between those clubs. If we go a four wedge system, you would have a 46 degree wedge, you would have a 50 degree gap wedge, you would have a 55 degree uh, sand wedge basically, and you would have a 60 degree lob wedge so there's five degree increments between those clubs so between the the pitching wedge and the 50 there's four so that equates to 10 meters between the rest of the clubs there is five meters so that's going to be about 11 to 12 meter gaps between clubs roughly 11. so we need to know that so that we can then get some control with our distance so i've set this up at 30 meters away and i have my lob wedge here so I'm going to play a shot and we'll see how I go with it. This is just my standard simple pitching swing that I call 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So I've hit it, it's landed just next to the flag stick and that's about a foot away from the hole. So that's gone the 30 meters that I wanted. What if I wanted to hit the ball further? So if I had to hit it 45 meters and I had my three wedge system, I would then be coming back from my 58 down to my 52, giving the six degree gap. Now I don't have that. I personally favor the four wedge system. I like to be able to do the same swing over and over and let and use the different club to make the ball go shorter or further rather than me try and manipulate and use feel. I spend too much time coaching helping people and not enough time out there practicing so my feel is not what it was 20 25 years ago when I played a lot. So for that reason alone I like the four wedge system. So let's say I want to hit this another 10 meters. So that last one I use my gap uh, sorry my lob wedge I'm now going to use my 55 and if I can do the same swing as that the ball should be landing 10 to 11 meters further than that last shot with no change at all to my golf swing. And there it is. And as expected, the ball has landed another 10 to 11 paces further on. So what I'd like you to do is find an area like we've got here and start out and measure, maybe hit a few with your 60 degree sand wedge uh, or lob wedge, find out how far it goes, use a measuring device. There's some great measuring devices out there, bushnells and things like that. Uh, laser range finders. You could use the GPS if you wanted to. If you don't have any of that, just use paces. One big pace is a meter. Find out how far you go. And if you've got, if you've got ten, uh, four degrees differences between your lofts, that will equate to 10 meters. If you've got uh, six degrees, that will equate to 15 meters. So before long, you're gonna get a pretty good guide as to how far you hit each club. 
Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on the subscribe button down the bottom there. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. You can also sign up to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.